Well, hello, Sanford. Welcome to another episode of The Source. Today, we're honored to have in our presence two individuals or part of what I would kind of consider some kind of the unsung heroes of the agency here, because uh, you guys do a fantastic job for us, and uh, I think we have a great appreciation for uh, all the work that you do day in and day out. And uh, you might not always get that that recognition. So we're here to tell our, our show our viewers who uh, these fine folks are, our community service officers of the Sanford Police Department. And could you please introduce yourself to the audience? Yeah, my name is Sam Todd, and I have been with the agency since October of 2016. And I am Charles Locker. I have been with the agency for about 27 years now. 27? 28 years. I spent three years as a reserve officer, 25 full-time, and in December 2nd, I came back as a community service officer. So you, well, Chuck, we're, we're great to, it's great to have you back here, man. It's good to see you again. So, uh, and it's know. great to be back and uh, <laughs> to have everybody here welcoming me back. It's so, you know, when I say about the, the, you know, I say the unsung heroes, I know you guys do a lot of work to help, I guess, really, you know, support the patrol effort around here. And can you kind of give us a, an idea, Sam, of what, what day and, you know, a day is like as a community service officer? Well, really, our job description as a community service officer is to is to help our patrol officers with things that that we can do, so that they can do things that we can't do. Sure. For instance, we can't arrest anyone. We don't. We're not. We're civilians. We don't carry weapons, but we can take r reports that are o over with and deal with situations that are over with. We can investigate traffic crashes, and we can assist in that way. And so, our goal is to help officers accomplish their job in a greater way. Okay, good. You said uh, investigate traffic crashes. Yes. You write tickets too? We do, actually, yes. Yeah. So we, yeah, <laughs> You're making a lot of people's days. I'm right, <laughs> yeah. So, as a, um, you know, there's a, a training that we can go through as community service officers right. that teach us how to investigate traffic crashes, and uh, and that's something that, that I've been through. And Chuck, as a sworn officer for sworn several officer. years, he that was under that umbrella, so he also can investigate traffic crashes. Yeah, what about the things like... Uh, uh, crime scenes or things like that. You ever guys get involved in any of that at all? Or? It's very little, uh, unless they want us to come help shut down a road right. and to relieve some of the officers. So we can shut down a road uh, as far as getting up on the crime scene. Uh, Proce I, how about processing, things like that? You take fingerprints? Things yes, we do. Sure we do. We do. Yeah. yeah. Part of our training is to learn how to do fingerprinting. And right. to, so if we can get, we're on a, say someone's home was broke into last mm -hmm. night, they don't know who did it we're likely to end up on the scene and be the first people there. Yeah. And so we're looking to maybe help people enter the home and, and then if there is obvious fingerprints or I was at a scene uh, a few months ago and someone cut themselves mm -hmm. on the way in through, it came in through a window sure. and so there was blood. So we were actually able to pull that blood off and then submit that as evidence. Yeah. So Sam, one of the things we talked about was your response to the uh, home burglaries. Yes, sir. And one of the things I'm curious of, and you're gentleman's experience. Are you run into a lot of vehicle burglaries? Yes. Take reports for that? A lot. Of you know, one of the big things that we talk about here on The Source is, uh, is crime prevention yes. and our hashtag 9pm routine campaign that we want to keep going throughout 2020. In your experience, what do you see as the MO to get inside these vehicles? How are they doing it? Unlocked vehicles. Uh, unlocked vehicles. Almost always the vehicles left unlocked. Really? With something valuable on the inside of the vehicle. Okay. So people's computers, people's phones, sunglasses that are, you know, that they don't that they don't buy at the dollar store. And it's not they, only that. It, yeah. it, the big thing for me is a weapon. Now, let's say firearms. Take yes. 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 your Can't. weapon out of your vehicle. Can't believe that there's people who believe in firearms and vehicles that are unlocked. Yeah. Well, this is good. I appreciate you you, you two being here today. I uh, wish we could have everybody on here today and say hello. Maybe we'll be able to do that in some upcoming episodes. Uh, and also stay tuned to, to uh, see some other uh, facets of our agency and, and what happens here. We're going to hope to have some different uh, departments on in 2020 to, to give you a good in-depth look of uh, the people that work here, the different departments here at our agency. So, you know, one of the things that we always leave it off of, the very end, you ever watched The Source before? No. You better say yes. I haven't. I'm new. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new, right? Come on. Come on. <laughs> well, we always, we always tell our audience to keep it safe, Sanford. That's how we end the show. Keep safe, Sanford. So please join me. You All ready? Right. Yes. One, two, three. Keep, keep it safe, safe Sanford. Sanford.